Hi Libra, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot. I'm going to be doing your September 18th through the 24th weekly love reading. I have pre-shuffled these three decks for you. Uh, this may or may not resonate as it's for hundreds or thousands of people. So uh, that's it. If you like it, you can hit the subscribe button. And if you want notifications, you hit the bell next to the subscribe button. Um, and that will give you notifications every time I upload a video. If you just want to subscribe and not get the notifications, you just hit the subscribe. Um, Libra, September 18th through the 24th. I'm not going to do reversed. I have started doing them a little bit for my private readings. I do know how to do them. I just don't like them. My messages come from within. The cards are just a tool. We have the Page of Pentacles, the Hermit, the Page of Swords, the Ten of Swords, the Three of Swords, Four of Pentacles, Five of Cups, Knight of Cups, Knight of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles, the Chariot, Two of Swords, the Wheel of Fortune, the Eight of Wands, and the Shadow Side, which is also the Devil card. <laughs> the focus of your reading, though, is the Chariot, which I have right in the middle there. The chariot is about putting yourself in the driver's seat, taking a stand, moving forward, <clears throat> okay? When you get the chariot, it says that you're, you're moving forward, you're taking a stand, you're mastering your emotions, um, you're replacing fear, you have a lot of mental strength. It's also, it's a kind of like the death card as far as transformation goes. It's a transformation, Libra. This is the basis of your reading, the chariot. So you may be going through the beginning, or it could be even the end, or in the. It's a part of a transformation this week. Okay, I see that there's been a stalemate, and perhaps this week there's still a little bit of a stalemate. There's delays. You know, even though things are moving forward, we have these two slow-moving cards. I see that you're still hurt over a situation. Um, you know, and it's funny, it, there's some contradictions here, so there may be some contradictions going on within your life, because these, this, these are very slow moving, delays, and these are both very fast, so it's contradictory, so the contradictions play a part this week, okay, so just be careful. The shadow side is about, um, obsessions, addiction, addictions, I mean, maybe you're obsessed with a broken heart okay maybe you're not okay maybe I see that you're feeling very insecure but you really don't need to because we have this balance right here but you're insecure you're feeling insecure financially so I think you know you are the sign of Libra you're about balance so you're really working on balancing out things um, the wheel of fortune comes up when good luck is on your side when good fortune is right around the corner it's in your reading this week, perhaps, perhaps another phase of your transformation is, is actually happening. The wheel is actually spinning in your favor when this card comes up. I see there's been some hurt. We have the Five of Cups. You're still focusing on the hurt. It's in this reading. You're still crying over something. Could be something that you had a deep, deep connection to with this devil card right here. Okay, you're still focusing on it. There's still some hurt. With the Ten of Swords up there, there's a completion. You know, could be that there's, um, we have these two knights right next to each other. There could be a person that is, um, moving out because they're, it's headed in the direction of the heartache and it's headed towards the end. Okay. So there could be a person that you're deciding to finally let go of, okay? Could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Here we have this observation. We also have this, um, like, a stalking kind of behavior. Maybe you're watching this person, I'm not, or they're watching you, okay? There's, it's like, it could be on social media, could be, um, you know, there's a lot of observation here, so... 
it's almost and, and again that's another fast moving energy but there's conflicts it's right here there's conflicts that are hindering your forward movement and it could involve a person and love okay there, there's there's definitely some conflicts that are hindering your forward movement the conflicts are, are causing you a lot of hurt because I see the hurt and imbalance they're causing you imbalance you may be taking this week to go within and refocus and replan and just heal a little bit you know taking a time out to hide out into your shell and just get through whatever just happened okay because you're definitely hurt with this five of cups crying and staying stuck in a situation when there are other options but i do see that you're moving forward that chariot says that you are moving forward but you keep delaying it for some reason reason you do you're moving slowly so i don't understand but i think eventually the wheel is going to spin the wheel is going to spin and things are going to start moving faster i see that you're very um We have the page of pentacles up there, right here. So it's about being practical, being responsible. Um, it also, the page of pentacles also comes out when it's time to broaden your horizons. Look at something from a different perspective. Perhaps it's time to build a new foundation with that page of pentacles. That's what the page of pentacles is. It's about building a new foundation. Um, that could bring some balance back, but you're you're resisting it because we have resistance right underneath it But the wheel really really wants to spin. It's right here, and it may be spinning. It may be um, Look at the cards. Oh my gosh. This one came out first Nine of cups Knight of cups the world nine of coins this is the independent woman often the divorcee or the widower or somebody who just lives alone an independent man or woman who's taking care of themselves quite well they're grateful for all that they have you know then we have the magician this is about awareness okay and having all the tools to succeed we do have a pisces cancer scorpio here very prominently in this reading Okay, so you may have a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio that that could be coming into your life because this Knight of Cups. Okay, we have the Knight of Cups and the Knight of Pentacles. So the one of them could be going out and one of them could be coming in. Maybe this Knight of Cups really is observing you and they're really interested in you, but you're still broken hearted and crying over this other per this other night. Okay, and they can be any sign because we all we all have different signs in our charts. Um, but I see that there's definitely a mastering of emotions here, no doubt. So I think that you are really, really working on mastering your emotions and that you're probably feeling very satisfied this week because we have satisfaction here and satisfaction here. So I think you are. I think that you have this oneness about you where you are just spiritually aligned, okay? I think this week there's there's it's a good week for you we have the world card when the world card comes out it says that um, it's a completion in your life this heartache is right here this ending is right here okay with this Taurus Virgo Capricorn or Pisces Cancer Scorpio all right in this pretending that it's not over I think that that's whatever it is a pretending that something is going to come of this is a pretending underneath here which has been causing you delays in love but i think with this world card the pretending is over okay it's over and the world card is here to say all right you're about to have a major new beginning you have learned something big all right you're at the finish line okay success you put the world card in the magician card I see success you've really mastered something and I think it's an emotion I do I think there's a new chapter coming right up with the wheel and the world I think you have a new chapter but this is the future I'm about to deal out here this is the after tarot and I'm gonna talk about the future in a minute but remember the basis of your reading is the chariot that's 
a transformation. I see that you are transforming and you are headed in the right direction with that chariot card. Let me go with these since they fell out. The magician again. Success. You have all the tools. You do. You have all the tools for success within you. You are highly aware. You know, okay? You have this oneness with the divine when this card comes up. Your power to manifest is great. But I do have to tell you that you cannot manifest what is not meant to be. Materia, again. You're, and you see, the thing is, is you're aware. I think you're aware that you can't manifest what isn't not what's not one. You are aware, okay? Materia, again, something is ending. These are big endings that caused you a lot of heartache. The Ten of Swords and the World, those are completions. Underneath it is the Two of Pe oh, of uh, is it the Two of Pentacles? No, that's the that's the Knight of Pentacles. So that's the Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. The Two of Swords is under here. That's the pretending. That's the stalemate. But anyway, let's get back to it. These are endings. Because of a broken heart, where I think that you finally are like, you know, I'm going, I'm moving forward. Now I'm moving forward. This is reminiscing about somebody from the past. But this is the future now. Happiness in the future. A lot of happiness in the future. All right. Perhaps where one becomes two in the regular tarot, this guy is alone. Now he's got a partner to go with him on the journey. This is the future. Where your awareness even becomes more, if it could be. Because I think you're so aware already. You know, it's, you're just going to become even more spiritually aware. This is a celebration. This is the future where you have something to celebrate. Your transformation, your major life change. It brings a lot of happiness and content and bliss and vibrancy. Okay? Perhaps in the future, somebody from your past, not your recent past, from your childhood or from a past life, that's been maybe thinking about you and observing you and could be comes in and messes up your independence that could be the truth all right so that's the future right there and that could be anywhere from oh two to seven months out okay after you whatever this heartache is and you let it end because there's endings and you move forward from this heartache because this is moving forward from the heartache but there's a lot of happiness remember these are the future cards so I do see that you're moving forward this week still even you're moving in the right direction you are on the right track Libra I think that you're on the right track your power to manifest is huge with both of those magician cards, okay? You're manifesting things that look very, um, looks like it's very bright. I see a positive new beginning with the wheel and the world. That's what I see. So I think you're taking more steps in that direction. Talk to you later.